Hello everyone. On this video I'm going to show you how to construct an ellipse. Now the first thing to say is that I'm going to show you this on uh, 2D design tools on CAD. Uh, you wouldn't normally use this method of constructing an ellipse on CAD because there's just no point because the whole purpose of CAD is that it will, you know, one of the things that it will do is it will draw a perfect ellipse for you between the points that you, you uh, nominate. Uh, but it's much easier to show you this way rather than point a video camera at a piece of paper. So this construction of an ellipse is to be done on a piece of paper using drawing instruments, drawing board, parallel motion, uh, using a compass as well with your set squares etc. Um, so I'm going to start off just by looking at what uh, an ellipse actually is. If I start off by drawing a, a circle like so, now a circle will have infinite lines of, of symmetry. I'm just going to draw two of the lines of symmetry on, the horizontal one and the vertical one. So there's two of our uh, lines of symmetry. Now if I stretch that ellipse, sorry, circle, it becomes an ellipse. And that's what an ellipse is. It's a, it's a stretched circle. So we've gone from a circle which has infinite lines of symmetry to an ellipse which now has two lines of symmetry. Now those two lines of symmetry are very important. They are now the major and the minor axes of our ellipse. So up here the long line is the major axis and the shorter line is the minor axis. And it's worth mentioning that the, the axis refers to the distance from one end of the ellipse right away to the other end. Because in an exam you may get asked to draw the whole ellipse, in which case you need the uh, the whole of the major axes and the whole of the minor axes, or you may get asked. If I just copy this, where have I gone? Here we go. If I just copy this, my mouse is going everywhere at the moment. Okay, you may be asked to draw an ellipse which is portrait rather than landscape. So you might be asked to draw an ellipse that way up. You may be asked to draw uh, half an ellipse, and it may be that half, in which case you need the whole of the major distance and only half of the minor. It may be that you're asked to draw an ellipse that way, okay? which means that you will have the whole of the minor axis there and only half of the major axis. Most probably you'll actually get asked to draw a quarter of an ellipse because once you can draw one quarter, okay, you've shown you can do it and it shows the examiner that you could actually draw the other three quarters if you wanted to. So it may be that you're asked to draw a quarter which would mean that you would have half of the major axis there and half of the minor axis there. Okay, so let's just get on to actually uh, designing our uh, ellipse or constructing our ellipse, I should say. So we're going to start off here. I'm going to draw a quarter of an ellipse, and I've got my uh, major axes here, or half my major axes, remember, because the center point is here, okay, to the edge of my ellipse there, and I've got half of my minor axes from here up to here. Now, the first thing you need to do with your compass is to draw an arc uh, from the center point um, or the radius of the arc is actually half of the distance of the major axes on, on this line and the arc up here, the radius of the arc is going to be half of the, uh, the distance of the minor axis. Now that sounds really complicated, in fact it was a bit complicated for me to actually say it. It's much easier if I just show you what to do. So you put your uh, you put your compass point let's get onto grid lock. Put your compass point in the center just here and you draw your arc round here like so. Let's just move that down a bit so you can see it. So that's one arc and then you do the same thing again but you draw it 
to that point there. So you've got two arcs. One is from the, the end of the major and the other one is from the end of the minor. Then what you do is you draw a, a line from the center. Now it can be any angle you like. Okay, I'm just going to have it going roughly at 45 degrees up the, the middle of the, uh, the angle there. Now with your line, uh, where this line you've just drawn hits the outside arc, you come straight down. Now I shouldn't really say straight down, I should say towards the major axis because when you're drawing your, uh, your arc underneath here, you're actually going upwards because it's the other way. Um, what I normally do when I'm drawing an ellipse is when I do the bottom part of it, I'll actually turn my piece of paper upside down so I'm always drawing the top of it. So just let me explain that one again. So where this line hits the outside arc, you draw a line that comes straight down like so. Where it hits the, uh, the inside arc, you come across like so. Now where those two lines cross here, that is a point on our ellipse. Now you've actually got three points now on your ellipse because you've got the point down here and you've also got the point over here. So if you uh, visualize in your head where the arc is going to go or where the line of the, uh, the ellipse is going to go, it's going to start there, it's going to come round here, come down here through that point, down here to meet that point there. So uh, having three points is not quite enough to, to draw a nice neat curve so I'm just going to do another point again any angle doesn't matter where it hits the outside arc you come straight down where it hits the inside one you come across okay so there's another point I'm going to do another one over here any angle where it hits the outside curve we come down where it hits the inside one we come across you'd be using your parallel motion and your set squares for this on a drawing board so now I've got five points I could do some more if I wanted to um, I would suggest that you don't do any more than that because your page gets really really busy all of these lines that I've drawn should be nice faint constructional lines I'm just going to draw another one up here so a line that comes down and then across there's another point there okay so now what you do is you uh, take your pencil and you draw a nice neat curve through those points now um, it's going to be quite difficult for me to do on CAD uh, so I've cheated a little bit um, I've actually uh, already drawn it <coughs> so there is your line that goes through those points so that is your quarter of an ellipse constructed. Okay, it's one of those things that um, it, it's quite difficult to remember sometimes. So I would suggest that this is something that you 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 look at, you do a couple of them, and you do it quite near to the exam as well, so that you haven't forgotten it. Now, in the books, there are quite a few ways of constructing an ellipse. Uh, this, I think, is perhaps the easiest one of of the lot. So I would suggest that you you stick to this one. Okay, thanks very much for listening.